Appreciate it. Well, this morning we are headed to class and are learning about the three R's, reading, writing, and the robots that are <laughs> teaching them. Yeah, Bristol Company is using their software to help kids on the autism spectrum learn, and the robots are delivering the lessons. Fox 61's Jim Altman and photojournalist Sean McKeever bring you a look into the world of Movia Robotics. The Victorian style mansion is only old world from the outside. One, two, three, four. Open the front door, and it's a portal far from mortal. Welcome to Movie Robotics. It's like Professor X's mansion. You don't realize what's in here. More twists, more shifts. Way to go. More pivots. Breathe out and lower your arms to your lap. And lifts. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing. Bristol is home base of the bots. Let's try another one. These are the offices of Movia Robotics, a software company with a mission to help children on the autism spectrum. It's all about engagement and getting a child to learn without knowing they're learning. And that's what we do. This will be fun for both of us. Kebby, now, Misty, iPal. Way to go. A roster of robots already in students' homes and Connecticut classrooms. Are you ready? Movia Chief Education Officer Rob Parenti says the high tech teachers have become even more popular since the pandemic started. So we're helping, you know, children with special needs, which we specialize in. That's how we got started. But now we're finding that. All students, all children, regardless of whether they have a disability or not, can benefit from getting in front of these robots for the social emotional learning benefits. My friend, let's take a break. So because the robot is physical, unlike a tablet, the child can relate to the robot as a peer and as a friend. Amazing. In Bridgeport, four-year-old AJ interacts with AI each day. A preschooler on the autism spectrum AJ's mom says he's made strides. We received um, our Roby, as we call him at home, um, about almost a year ago. AJ during the pandemic did not um, digress at all. He, he, when he went back to school, his teachers were super surprised. He received student of the month. Right now, there are four different robot types and they're in classrooms across Connecticut, across the country, and really all over the world. The state has begun funding some districts. Let's do some breathing together. Middletown Public Schools have nine robots up and running. Nice work. And beyond the bells and whistles, they call this another way to help special needs students Order. get a step ahead. So when you think about how these robots interact with the kids, especially ones with special needs, it's having a tremendous impact on a lot of lives. In Bristol, the robot revolution begins. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.